So I picked the perfect day to wash my Invincible shirt. Come on, man. <laughs> of course, on the finale recording, I do not have the shirt, but Team Godzilla, y'all. Hope we got a couple of Team Godzilla fans, but what's going on, guys? If you're new to the channel, hook your boy up with that HBL special. Y'all know what that is? That's a help a brother out special. Hit that subscribe button, ding that bell, and hit like on this video for videos on the latest in movies, TV shows, anime, with a little sprinkle of gaming in there as well, you guys. My name's Leo Rydell. This is Geekly Goods, and today we are here to talk about Invincible, and I will not be spoiling anything. I actually have a list of do not reveals sent from Amazon that I cannot speak about. So there will be a lot of dancing around in this review. I apologize, but I do have a reaction coming tomorrow that will detail in full how I feel about the entire series and about this finale, guys. I just wanna start off by saying that this is one of the best finales I've seen in years, guys. Now, look, we're not going to talk Game of Thrones, but there have been some strong finales within the last 10 years and Breaking Bad and all kind of shows around this universe of geekdom. I mean, she's Young Justice ain't done yet, but man, I love the end of that first season and where Doom Patrol's going right now is amazing. Look, there have been some great finales, great season finales here and there, but look, I just want to start by saying that Invincible season finale was chef's kiss guys that was so good and let me tell you it does not skimp on the gore at all there is probably the most gore out of the entire not even probably there's the most gore of the entire season in this episode yes more gore than omni-man killing the guardians of the globe so that's a little bit of a warning there for you i'm not spoiling but there is going to be a duke out between omni-man and invincible let's be real here they teased it the last episode happens in this episode but i don't want to go into details and unfortunately i can't because that spoiler list y'all wait where am i putting it over here yeah that's that do not reveal list is is lengthy let me tell you but i loved this series i thought it has such a great lead up to the finale debbie finding out in the last episode and of course as we see at the very end of the last episode omni man does detail invincible and tell him a little bit about you know what's going on and we go into a lot of detail onto why he actually killed the guardians of the globe in this episode and again another thing i can't reveal however we will you will get to learn about omni man's reason in this episode and it really does make a lot of sense and this is actually what i had assumed before i even cracked open the comic book but my lips are sealed guys this is just such a great series and the lesson i i learned kind of watching this is that geez if you got superpowers in a day and then a, a, what, six months later your dad just comes out to you and tells you he's this person that you never believed to be holy smokes man like how could one handle that that is so much for a teenager mark seriously has a lot on his shoulders i mean think about it going throughout the season He's not Omni-Man yet, so he can't live up to that name of being a Viltrumite, being what Omni-Man was for the entire globe. I mean, seriously, the girlfriend having to reveal to Amber what's going on, William finding out. I mean, seriously, it's like he's gone through so many things in the season, the Battle Beast episode. Like, he's just gone through so much, so much. And I am so curious to see how that affects his character in season two. But guys, we get again, we get to learn about what's going on with omni man there's some great exchanges in this episode the voice acting is at its absolute tip top best y'all and they got some of the best actors in the industry to voice these characters but seriously i need my guys jk simmons and steven yoon to at least be nominated for these amazing performances that they put on this show guys it is just full of emotion and so raw and so visceral. It is amazing, guys, The what they did with this episode. You all, I don't want to dive too deep because this is a non-spoiler, but tune in tomorrow for my full reaction. That, at the end of it, has a breakdown that I talk about my thoughts on the season in more detail. So be sure to come back to the channel tomorrow for that. But guys, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for your boy Leo right now, and we will see you next time on Geekly Goods. Oh.